Hi everybody, Laura here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And in today's video, I am excited to show you um, two bags actually. Um, one would be the Bulgari Serpenti Forever bag, which I have here. And this one is an authentic Bulgari bag. And then the other one I decided to buy to compare just to see how similar this bag is to my Serpenti bag. And that is the Tiffany and Fred bag and their take on the Serpenti bag. Again, Tiffany and Fred bags are not, uh, they're not replicas. They're not meant to be a fake. They are just a inspired or designed very similar to the, the bags that they're emulating. So I literally just got this yesterday in the mail and I haven't even opened it yet. So we are going to kind of um, look at this together to see what this bag actually looks like. And as you guys know, I've done um, quite a few of the Tiffany and Fred handbag reviews and reveals. Um, so far, I'd say I'm pretty happy with the bags. Um, I like to buy some of them just to see um, how it holds up to the real bag. I was just really curious. Um, and since I already had a Serpenti bag, I wanted to get this one just to kind of compare and see the similarities um, of it. They do pack them well. And so, oh, there's plastic on it too, okay. Ta-da. Ta-da. Um, very pretty. Okay, my first impression so far is um, it's a very pretty bag. Um, let me try to get some of this. They cover the they cover the handles very well with um, with protective plastic and so forth. Let me try to get all this off here. Okay, so it took me a few minutes to get the wrapping off of the chain. Okay, um, at first sight, um, I will have to say, very extremely similar. Okay, extremely similar. So let's start with my actual um, Bulgari Serpentine Forever bag. And this one is a leather um, embossed bag. And the, the snake head clasp is enamel. This is all done in enamel, very well done. Um, the inside, the inside, of course, I always keep these satin pillows in all of my bags to keep them shaped well, the inside. Now, I, I do like this bag, um, but, but the only thing I really don't love is the clasp is a little temperamental sometimes. It won't close. It's, you have to really kind of push on it to really make it clasp. Not a fan of that. The other thing is, is it doesn't always stand. Whenever you get a handbag with bottoms like this one, as you can see with the pleats here, Chances are, after a while, if it does sit, these tend to start to fold inward, okay? Causing the bag to topple over. So um, I like to keep this one laying flat when I am storing it so it doesn't get more bent. But that is the one thing that I will have to say that I, I don't love um, about the design. The very sleek design. It holds, I mean, it's a beautiful looking bag. It really is. And I like the fact that you can adjust, you can adjust it down. 
So it is a it is a nice bag, I will admit. Um, I did buy this one pre-love because I really, uh, I wasn't sure if I would totally love it. Um, the reason why I even bought it was because we were actually at the Bulgari Hotel in Milan and loved it, loved it, loved it. It was gorgeous, um, serpentine stuff everywhere. Um, so I decided to buy this just to see. And again, pre-loved, got it at a decent deal, um, under a $1,000. Um, so, I mean, you can find these on the pre-loved market fairly readily. I usually find them on the real reel. That's my favorite place to go scope them out. This is the only one I have right now. I don't know if I'll get another one or not. I really don't. That's why I was really wanting to test out the Tiffany and Fred bag. And again, under $200, um, I got this one. And again, same design. This one is smaller, however. Like I've told you, the Tiffany and Fred bags will be the smaller versions of some of the bags. Now, Bulgari does make these in this size. They do. Um, and they're crossbodies. So they, they are this size, actually. Uh, I prefer a little bit larger bags, but I just wanted to see out of curiosity um, what this would be like. And it is embossed leather, painted, and also enamel on the, on the, uh, the serpentine head. Let's see what the inside looks like. And you get your dust bag. Okay, inside is the same as the Bulgari bag. I mean, it's everything except you don't, of course, don't have Bulgari down here on the bottom. The chain, very similar. Um, Weight-wise on the chains, um, the Bulgari one's a little, a uh, little bit heavier. I will have to say, little, little bit. Um, this one, you know, it's cute. It's cute. This, this would fit a phone definitely. Um, my wallet, you probably not my wallet personally, but it would fit your necessities for sure. And um, oh wow, the clasp on this one is is more um, magnetic then on the bulgari this one you have to just really that's what i hate you think you got it it clicks and then it doesn't you have to really push it i actually like the clasp on this bag better because it is magnetic and you can just kind of do that it's like boop boop closed closed so um i like the finish i do it is leather so you know what? I mean, I'm actually, I'm, I'm impressed. I wish they made, I really wish Tiffany and Fred would make bags in a little bit larger sizes. I really wish they would because I would definitely buy a ton more. Um, there's a couple that I bought I'm probably going to sell. Um, I'm not super fond of them. Um, but no, I'm, I'm really happy about this. Um, Bulgari, which that you know, the if, if you don't know, um, Bulgari actually um, originally started back in 1884, and the Serpenti design came about in like 1940. So it's been around for a really long time. I just don't think it was really um, like brought out until the handbags were made, um, which I think they're very elegant bags. Um, wearable, palatable. Um, they come in a lot of different colors. Um, they're great bags. Um, I just, you know, again, not, I'm not loving the class that I have to push kind of hard down. That, that kind of bothers me. Um, so other than that, um, I would have to say that I'm, I'm happy with this. I wish it were bigger. I really do. Um, some people like smaller handbags and prefer this size, and they could wear it as a, um, a crossbody. Um, I like my handbags just a little bit bigger because I, I usually carry around, you know, uh, 
key, phone, wallet, makeup, reader, sunglasses, all that kind of stuff. So actually, yeah, this actually goes with what I'm wearing today. But this is, uh, I like it. I really do. Um, I, I am really impressed with the, the quality of these bags um, for the price. Um, under 200, you can't go wrong. So if you are looking for a Serpentine Forever bag, and maybe it's like, mm, that's kind of out of my price range. Even pre-loved, you're going to spend a thousand, two thousand, depending on the style of the bag. So this might be a way to go or to try it out to see if you like it. I always like to try things um, before I before I buy. Well, in this case, I bought, and then now I'm trying the smaller version. But I actually do like this, and it's um, a lot easier to swallow a price tag of say 200, you know, than a couple thousand. It just is. I don't know, then you don't have to worry about it so much. With this thing, I have to, you know, make sure I lay it down right and everything else. This, it's like, okay, you know, whatever. I mean, I'll take care of it, but I don't have to um, be worried about it so much, you know? It's kind of nice having some bags where you can just wear and not worry about, uh-oh, I stuffed it, uh-oh, I set it in something, uh-oh, I might have scratched it, you know, it, it gets... It gets really crazy, annoying. So, um, in comparison, guys, you know, I know my, this purple is a beautiful color. I do love it, and that is why I bought it, because it's a beautiful color. But in comparing these two, you know what? I don't know. I, I, I would say there's a little bit of difference, of course, but not enough to make me say, ew. You know, again, this isn't meant to be a replica. This is just a bag that is just <laughs> a spot on similar style of the Bulgari Serpent Tea bag. So um, that being said, I'm impressed. Let me know what you guys think um, in the comments below. And um, let me know. I'll, I'll probably be doing more of these as well. Um, Maybe even with different, um, may not even be Tiffany and Fred. I don't know. I just like experimenting with bags. I'm constantly on the prowl for different things and, and looking for new things to share with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.